Good morning, Robertsdale UMC and friends of Robertsdale. This is Pastor Jonathan with a uh, daily Devo on this Monday morning, October the 12th. And uh, I read a passage of scripture in my devotional time this morning before I came to the office that uh, I just want to read. And I know uh, that may disappoint you. Daily Devos are usually a conversational thing. Uh, but I want this scripture to speak for itself, and I want to invite you to do something we've talked about many times, and that is to just invite the Holy Spirit uh, to speak to you through this in a very personal way. Uh, let Him do the application. So instead of me trying to offer some kind of application of this passage for you today or uh, for, the, for the time in which we're living, I think this is just one of those that kind of speaks for itself. It's a reminder that as Christians we are always living uh, between the day that Christ came and ascended into heaven and the day that he will come again uh, from heaven back to earth to finish what he began. And we live in the time in between, uh, and we long for that day, and we know not when it's coming, but our job is to be ready. So hear this uh, letter from Paul to the early church in Thessalonica. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 4 uh, through 28, to the, to the end of the chapter, to the end of the letter. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in the darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief, you are all children of the light and children of the day. Uh, we do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strives to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject evil, every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And I wish you grace and peace today as well. God bless you.